Hi everybody, it's Friday the 7th I think of February. We're just heading out for a wee lockside camp in Loch Lomond National Park. I'm going to go with James and it might be a chance to try the Lanshan Pro 1. I'll see how it goes. The weather's quite benign just now but it is meant to get very windy and wet as Storm Kira approaches. So follow me along and we will see how this one pans out. I've got a choice of tent so we can cope accordingly. That is uh, 2,300 of your lumens. Is it? Yeah. Ah, that's quite good. My mind's only like uh, 400 or something like that. That's full. Or, or, or a cuddle in comparison. Full burn, but it gets very hot though. Keeps you warm as well, what a bonus. <laughs> Just working our way along the shore here, looking for any suitable spots. At the moment it's pretty rocky and not a great view, but I think we'll sure we'll find a nice bay. Fallen tree. I'm not jumping, I've my, oh, I've got all my ankles on my <laughs> Let's see the holes into it. Whoa. Right, on you go. <laughs> Mister, I'll laugh at your attempt. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <Leave it>. oh. <laughs> yeah, there seems to be a wee lock in here as well. Just inland from the shore, which is right here beside me. Um, my biggest problem was just deadfall. We just got to worry about trees coming down in the night. So we'll kind of have to be careful. James is still back there 100 yards ahead. Just going to have a wee look around and see what we can find. Okay, we're going to just pitch the B3FUL for the moment and see how I get on. Probably not the most suitable tent for an incoming storm, but it'll be a good wee test just to see the space in it and condensation. Okay. We're up. Quite simple really. As long as you do the four corners of the rectangle and then the front with a pole in and the back, it does seem to work quite well. So I'm up. James is still working away in the MSR. I'm going to get under cover and decant some gear and decide on whether we're going to use this tonight. He says he's inflating his mat in there but we're not sure if that's true. Plan A and Plan B. So much room to spread yourself out in this one though. In the land shan. We lock it. Uh, we did actually yeah, just further back there, didn't we? All of it in. Lights not skimp. <laughs> there you go. Looking good. Chicken curry, rice, and nan bread. Oh, it looks nice actually. Sizzling away. It's well tasty. So I don't know if you can see me, but we've retired to the tents. Uh, the fire's finished. And the rain is on. The wind is not too bad at the moment, but it's forecast to get pretty hairy later on, I think. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to watch some telly. I'll put the radio on. It's only half nine, 20 to 10. So, 
Um, but yeah, it was a nice wee dinner by the fire, that was fine, by the lockside. I've decided not to sleep in the Lanshan tonight because it's too drafty and cold. Like it's one to wait until later in the season. It'd be fine in the sleeping bag, but when you've got a nice warm four season tent, it's very hard to, to go and sleep in a three season. Certainly cosy in here. Not even had to zip up the sleeping bag at the moment. It's fine. Um, it's about ten, half ten. The wind seems okay at the moment. Um, candles on. Quite relaxed. Got a nice flat pitch under the trees here. So we'll see how the night goes. I might even reverse this and get up and sleep in the lanchan later. But it's not going to happen really, is it? It's really quieting down again. You get that kind of sense of foreboding, it's the calm before the storm. Um, I was looking in the Met office there just to check some of the winds. Well, they're not bad here to be honest, they're only about 30-40 mile an hour overnight, but um, at the moment it's so calm, I'm thinking it's strangely quiet. Mm, it's 20 past 1 in the morning. As the wind arrived. <laughs> okay, so it's about half eight in the morning, it's about time to go, leave no trace, the fire is cleaned up, the camp area is cleaned up, and we're off. So much for trying the land, Shan, I chickened out, I apologise now and I'll be back for the next one. So thanks again for watching. And uh, it was short and sweet. Storm Kira is moving in, so we are bailing and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Right, here we go. Up this hill ahead of me here. Hopefully you can see it.
goes a long way around. Shit. idea what it is. Could be anywhere on this moor. Oh, it's just down here. Saved. I'll bring you back in a second. Well, there's the tent bag. That's one thing. And there's the tent. Probably destroyed, but we'll go and get a look. Yep. Well, still pitched, if you know what I mean. Let's see if I can get it down before we do any more damage. So there you are, you can see the part that failed. The main guy that was trying to hold the tent down with, even though it was pegged at the bottom, that's just torn away and the tent was off. Hey ho, a wee bit of repair required there then. So the poles are intact, one slight bend at a joint, but straightened out, seems to be okay. Uh, seem to have lost a bag, the uh, main tent, the inner tent seems okay. I'm just going to do a quick scout, see if I can find the missing bag, and then think about repairs. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo, as luck would have it. So at least that's something. There's always a silver lining to every cloud. Yeah, I can hardly stand up. Well, that was an expensive morning. I hit the shop. I've managed to tear my over trousers as well. So, 